Hello, this is David from goldstartool.com and today I'm going to go over a quick, quick, quick video regarding how to oil your machine and where to oil and where not to oil and all that stuff. So, um, we had, the uh, most important thing is that most of this machine now comes with servo motor, quiet motor. If you see your sewing machine is leaking from here, it could be with overlock, could be with surgery or single needle or anything. If you see that it's happening, it's because your machine is in reverse. The pump is in reverse. So uh, that's why the oil is dripping from here. You wanna make sure the, the sewing machine is going that way and not this way. That's number one. Number two, all the new machines these days have an oil pan right here. And if you zoom in, it's a low and a high right here. So whenever you get, get a uh, buy a machine, there's a quart of oil and put everything in there. With this machine, you don't need to oil anything. There's a pump right here, you see that? There's a pump, okay? And if you find the machine like this with the hole in there, there is nothing wrong with it. This we call umbrella and it sits here. And what happens is whenever your machine needs the fit to go up and down, this goes up, you see that? Mm -hmm. And makes the umbrella go up and makes the feet go up right here. But right now it's not connected. Oh. So when it comes down, now. So this is, there is not a hole in here. There is no problem with this. You might find magnet cinder right here. There is nothing wrong. This didn't come off of anything. This magnet sits here. So if your needle breaks down, travel and get stuck here, and then you clean them up. You see there is a screw right here. That screw is if you want to change the oil. Whenever you see that oil is really, really dark and really unbearable and smells, you just want to change it. Just open this up, pull all the oil up, clean up the panel, and okay, number one. If you, this thing is that is hanging here, it's by bare purpose. There is nothing wrong with your sewing machine. It's all normal. This one sits in an oil and, you know, oil gold travels up through the sewing machine. With this sewing machine, you see, there are these uh, plugs. If you want, you could open plugs and like drop one, one drop of oil in there, okay? Now, this is a must. You have one of these elbow lowers at home? No. No, you don't. The garden, gardener has, I'm sure. Probably. Whenever he comes by, just ask him if he could use this and clean up the sewing machine. You do not know, but there are a lot of dust and a lot of um, lint inside this machine, inside the motor, inside. You want to clear, clean it every day. Make sure that it's clean. Make sure that it's... Uh... Now, if you don't have one of these and you don't have a gardener, you just want to get one of those air cans and clean it up under the uh, the plate over the plate all over underneath so this is a single needle walking foot the same thing applied with 8700 the same thing same system there's an oil pan down there and oil goes in there that's the same thing now let's move into we have all this a zigzag sewing machine on a zigzag sewing machine like this, there is no oil pan. See, no oil pan. Very nice. Everything is up here. You oil, oil them up here. From here, all these holes that you see, it's open, it's for oiling, all of these things. Same, this is a zigzag sewing machine. No, bar, no uh, oil pan. New tech, no oil pan. Underneath, same thing, hole right here, okay? You oil it from the top. You could even open this up and grease it. Nothing is gonna happen. On the blind stitch sewing machine from New Take, no oil pan. All these holes that you see here is for oiling. A drop or two. You don't have to go uh, big on the oil because sometimes the oil comes to the needle and makes your stuff, but now, what type of oil? Neutral 100, and that oil we have. It's a clear oil. 
neutral 100 oil. Uh, that's what everybody does. Multi needle. That then ha this one has a uh, that then have a oil pan. It's sealed oil inside. You open this up, let's say, and uh, you put your oil in there, and you could see the gauge from right here. There's the gauge right here, let's say, and you could see the oil, how much the oil is. The oil is inside here, it's sealed, okay? Uh, this is another new tech, same thing. Now, all the sergers, no oil pan. The oil goes from the top, okay? And here is the gauge that you see how much oil you have in there. Okay, same thing with new tech. That's the 9,000 back there, right here. Uh, oil pan in there. Uh, let's move into the new tech HA441. Same thing. No oil pan. You have up here and this one. You see all these red spots right here? <laughs> you oil them. Okay, you oil all these things. But the most important thing besides the oiling is that you keep your sewing machine clean. Make sure there is no thread like us around the belt, okay? Make sure every, the belt is covered. Make sure, you know, do not use a sewing machine before you put oil in there. Make sure there is oil in there. It happened many, many times that customer called in and said, hey, my sewing machine is not moving after a couple of days of work because they forgot to put oil in there. You gotta make sure there's oil in there. The oil is clean. Make sure you change your oil from time to time. And just go through the um, the paperwork that comes with the machine. It tells you where, you know, every single machine has one of these owner's manuals, instruction manuals that you could go in there. Besides showing you the parts, it shows you how to oil them, how to change the needle and all of that. And in general, always, have the right tool what, for what you're doing. Make sure with the sewing machine like this, you have a tweezer and needle threader, or all that stuff. So this is the way you oil them. Make sure you have a blower or a uh, uh, air can, and that's the way uh, you're gonna make sure your machine, your sewing machine, live forever and ever and ever happy. Uh, thank you for watching. Uh, go to www dot goldstartool.com and uh, become a member of our website on Facebook and YouTube. Thumbs up, follow up and share our videos. Thank you so much for watching.